Hello, friends, and welcome back to Shadowrun. I hope you're all doing well. You emerge from the foulness, Cordite and Death. Uh, oh, yeah, we already did that. We already read that. So last time Paul was killed by the orc, uh, I think we're heading towards Harf Harfield Manor. Harford Manor. I don't remember if it's Harfield or Harford. But anyway, we're heading there. So let's go check that place out. I think that's like end gamey stuff. So um, probably as a guess, no more than two or three episodes left in this series. So I hope, uh, I, I know it's not a very popular series for people to watch. Um, which honestly is one of the biggest things that's preventing me from plunking down the money to play a game like Baldur's Gate. Because it's a very similar style game to Baldur's Gate, and nobody particularly seems to care about Shadowrun. But if you are one of the people who cares about Shadowrun and you're checking this out, I would encourage you to uh, check out other things that I do as well. And if you like Shadowrun and something else, maybe consider subscribing to my little channel here. I'd appreciate it. We have any karma points? We have 10 karma points. What do we want to do with those? Well, we could go body 10. Um, I think that's the move, honestly. Let's just go body 10. All right. We got a bunch of monies that we don't really need. Assemble the team. Travel to the coordinates that Alex provided and find a backdoor access point and shut down the Apex AI. Oh, that's right. We were doing that. Well, we... D oh, we can take Dante. All right. Iger. Dante your dog whether you like it or not come on pooch let's go dogs love to go for rides Apex, an artificial intelligence designed for matrix warfare. The thought of it sends a chill down your spine. For years, the shadows have been ripe with rumors of true AI. Names like Mirage and Psychotrope have fueled conspiracy boards on the Shadowlands BBS since 2029. Most savvy Shadowrunners dismiss these stories as bunk. But from what Alice has told you, at least one of those stories is real. Apex is waiting for you somewhere deep down inside the basement of an old, abandoned Seder Krupp lab. Unfortunately, you're going to have to wade through a lot of gang territory to get there. I forgot about this part. We were not heading to the manor. We're heading towards this old SK building. Yeah, that all looks good. It's actually maybe one too many dock wagon kits, but whatever. We'll make it work. Find a way into the basement. Well, we got some gangers here, including Ulrich. Huge orc, combat fatigues. Uh, one of his meaty arms jerks up. You don't look like a magnif... Magnificer? Magnificer? You're not one of us, and I'm guessing you ain't here for the hub either. So tell me, who are you? What's your interest in this building? I need to get into the basement. It's important. Oh, it's important, you say. Why? By all means, go in, then. You're being sarcastic. You're a sharp one. Buildings under arbiter, arbiter protection. That means worker protection. Uh, we can't just let you waltz in and shoot up the place. I'm not planning on shooting anything unless I have to. I can't exactly take that at face value. It would be better for everyone if you just turn back. We don't want to fight you. We can't r risk an unknown player getting into this situation right now. Maybe I could help you with your situation. You look like you could handle yourself. We could probably use you if you'd be willing to help. There'd even be some money in it for you. But if not, well, there's a different conversation. What do you want us to do? We're having some trouble with the local mage gang. They attacked us without warning, took up in our building, and kicked us out under the street. Me and my boys were the rightful protectors of this block. But the guys that screwed us, they got the building buttoned up pretty tight. 
maybe you can get in there, blah, do some damage to the mages. The Arbiters would be willing to pay you 200 new yen per kill. Your call, fearless leader. You know the timetable we're working on. All right, fine. Um, I don't really want to know anything. I just want to go. Let's go. What could you possibly want down in the basement? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. All right, I need to stop a killer AI so that I can rescue an elderly scientist from a ghost dragon. You're right, I don't believe you. Crazy has its uses. All right, I'll get you into the basement, but it'll cost you. You've got the wrong idea. I don't need new yen. What I need is Trimetheus's head on a platter. He's holed up somewhere in the building we don't know where. Somewhere upstairs. No exterior windows. Power coupling for an elevator. Uh, I mean, I wish I had gang etiquette. I'll see what I can do. No amulet, no basement. All right. Well, at least we can get in. So that's something. But with a no charisma character like skin wrap, oh, it's hard to get a better deal. Parson. Welcome to the hub. Splendor of Communion. Uh, can you tell me anything about this building? What about the upper levels? I would steer clear of them. I need to get down to the basement. That would be difficult. Uh, I could tell you how to find Trimetheus's hideout. A pair of squatters on the second floor ripped the guts out of one of my terminals. They've taken the data jack signal converter and the terminal will be out of commission until I get it back. A single damage terminal may not sound like much, but trust me, the entire experience of communion has been diminished by this act of vandalism. Blah, blah, blah. Not with violence. It sounds straightforward enough. All right. I don't... Let's let's go do our things. What's over here? Communion looks pretty rough, guys. I'm not sure about that one. What are we doing? Come on, let's go. Uh, we got a little shop. Hey, Carl. Parts, parts. Welcome to Carl's General Store. Let me see your inventory. Ooh, he's got a pretty good inventory, actually. We have anything to sell him? Not really. Let's see if he's got any information. Uh, what's the layout of this place like? You're on the first floor. This is my shop. Dangerous people on the second floor. Third floor. Communions are up there. Alright. Whatever, Carl. Let's just get to that mage hunting and head busting bit. Actually, let's stay on this floor. What is this? Ask your decker to examine the control panel. Prize it away. Uh, no way for the elevator to function. Okay, that's the elevator then. That makes sense. What is this pile of dreck in the corner? Both walls gave way. All right, whatever. Let's go to the second floor. Mm, is that Anarchy or is that Arbiter? Ooh, what do we got here? Have your Decker bypass the lock. Uh, Blitz is so useful. Who are you? Oh, you're Janet. Hi, Janet. Middle-aged woman with chocolate-colored skin and shoulder-length dreadlocks. Looks up from her PDA. She's startled. Who are you? How'd you get through the door? I use my charm on natural musk. It gets him every time. What do you want while you're here? Parson sent me. He wants his hardware back. 
No way, those parts are keeping us online, not just us, but everyone worth a new yen in this hole. Parson can keep running his ridiculous little cult just fine with what he's got, but we're the only Matrix connection these people have. The terminal's in the back room. Go take a look, but if you try to rip us off, you're going to regret it. Um... Hacker's terminal has been clearly cobbled together using whatever parts they could find. In spite of this, it's a remarkably impressive piece of machinery. It's impossible to remove the part without disabling the terminal. The converter is required so that the signal the terminal sends can be interpreted by the data jack of its user. Converter is a pretty specialized piece of hardware, but a data jack impulse transmitter is a widely available piece of equipment and could be converted to work in its place. Find an impulse. This is just like hunt and peck territory. It's like the fetchiest of fetch quests. I can cobble you a replacement, but I'll need a single signal regulator to modify and you don't seem to have any spares on hand. You could do that? That'd be amazing. We still need the part. I bet you could get one from Carl. All right, I'll see what I can find. Ground floor. What's up, Carl? Data impulse transmitter. A thousand new yen. Why would I do that? Because you like that hacker Janet, you know it'd be a real shame if something happened to her. What do you mean? Are you threatening Janet? Think of it more like a friendly warning. Warning about what? This is a dangerous situation. She won't hand over the parts. If, if it takes her terminal offline, that could get her hurt or worse. All right, I get your point. Take the part and get out of here. All right. Let me see your inventory. Okay. Just curious if he, like, upped his uh, cost or something like that. I don't really need any of that stuff at the moment. Maybe later. All right. So Carl had the part. Didn't have to pay for it. I wonder if I would have gotten karma points or something if I had. But just run past Janet. Don't even need to talk to her. Modify the impulse transmitter and replace the signal converter. Transmitter is modified. Step away. Now let's talk to Janet. All fixed up. Everybody wins. You got your terminal. I got my parts. I could see that. I'm glad to see this end without bloodshed. There's been enough of that lately. All right, let's go back down to Parson. This is thrilling, I'm sure. Just back and forth we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. Okay, let's talk to Parson. Then we're going to go back to the second floor and check out the rest of it. Uh, da, 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 da. I recovered the parts for your terminal. Smile disappears for a moment as he studies the parts. These are the parts I need. Thank you. I trust there was no trouble, no bloodshed. Of course, you've got nothing to worry about, friend. No bloodshed at all. Wonderful news. My end of the deal. If you want to meet Trimetheus, take the stairs up to the third floor. Abandoned apartment at the end of the hall. Look for an M painted on the wall. Looks like two crude lightning bo bolts facing each other. There's an old bookcase in the very back of this apartment. Under the second shelf from the bottom, you'll find a button that opens the hideout. How do you know all this? Uh, because it was once mine. Okay. Thanks, dude. How to get to Trimetheus, at least. And I don't really care about the gang warfare. I mean, I would just as quickly take out both gangs, honestly. But let's go back to the second floor, see if we missed anything here. I'm assuming one of these doors is going to lead to a fight with some mages. Oh, there we go. 14 damage. That wasn't very nice. All right. I'm going to hide behind this. And there's my end field. I am going to do a burst fire shot right here. Perfect. 
Blitz, uh, let's have you run to, I guess, there. Oh! I didn't realize he had the drone now. Oh, now we're talking. Drone only has two action points. So let's move it to here. And let's do an aimed shot. Nope. Let's do an aimed shot at uh, ooh, Conjurer. But this one we could do more damage because she's only got minimal cover. No, it was only seven damage anyway. All right, what if I go like here? 73, sure. 20 damage and an aim shot. Another 20 damage, nice. Dante, Pucci. Let's have you go way over here. And what do we got for a spell? We got a flame breath. That missed, all right. I was hoping to not have to deal with actual conjuration. Oh, accuracy minus 10%. That's kind of a cool spell. And she healed 25 HP. Don't hit Dante. Jerk. It's a dog. Big meanies. All right, let's switch back to the Remington, do an aimed shot, and miss anyway. Blitz. You do anything? Nice. That's one down. Iger. Iger. Excellent. Uh, sure. Well, he missed. Dante, let's do a fireball right there. Decent. Let's have this turret shoot this guy first. 14 damage, and now let's run Dante over to bite. Nice, minus one AP too. Awesome. Oh, and that thing, the, uh, whatever, what is this called here? Inferno, uh, just turned on its master, so that's fun. Eat it. Eat the Inferno. Um, I really don't want to hit Dante. Gotta reload. Oh, come on, dude. Don't hit Dante. Wow, I mean, you could hit the guy though, dude. Come on, skin wrap. There we go. Problem solved. Where are all those mage medallions I could pick up for money? Who's this? Oh, Janet came out. Yeah. What's going on here? Somebody just run away? What's going on? We got another one. What's over here? Spell casting. Send that to Stash. That's a cool spell, though. Got another one? What do you got? Sent glue. All right. How's our health looking? Uh, items. Where's the items? Jeez. Activate. How's everybody looking? Yeah, he's okay. He's a good boy. All right. Let's continue on our way. Janet, where are you going? Wait, I already did it for you. What? Janet, what are you talking about? I already did the thing for you. All right. 
This looks like an abandoned apartment. Oh, what do we got? 24 bucks. Communion speaks and we listen. Okay. Bliss. Wonderful. Drugs. Just what, just what every good cult needs, right? Compu communion must flourish. The communion must grow. A shark tank. Join us. Yeah, no thank you, cult. The Shadowrun universe does love its pseudo-religious cults, doesn't it? Between this communion group, the uh, Universal Brotherhood in the first game. Well, we got some guys over here. Who are you people? Oh, hi, Franz. Metahumans, uh, who are you and what are you doing here? Skin wrap, and you are Franz. These are my friends and my wife. We live together. Well, we used to live together up on the third floor. You used to live upstairs. Okay. Uh, summoning spirits, uh, running wild, leave everything behind. Might as well be us to deal with those spirits. It's kind of weird that I have options to, like... Have have him introduce me to Janet when we've already done Janet's thing. But whatever. See you later, Janet. Let's go upstairs. See how bad this gets. Third floor. So we're going to have lots of spirits. Let's explore the hallway before we open a door, actually. Oh, yeah, that's a spirit, all right. Surprised that I got to glimpse that. Oh, we got a locked door. Blitz, man, you want to help out with this one? Why can't I click on anything? Come on, right here. Click. Click, 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 click. All right, you guys run away. And let me come back and click on it. There we go. Oh, go away. I won't let any spirits in here. If I were a spirit, would I be using the intercom? Never thought of that before. Are you here to save me? Yes, I'm here to rescue you. All right, I'm going to let you in. No funny stuff. Okay. I can't believe that worked. Who are you? Communionist. Uh, who are you? Are you part of the communion? You have to... Have you come to take me back? I don't want to go back. It's not safe. The spirits, it's not safe. Uh, you're one of the cultists from the hub, right? Only the communion remains, only communion matters. I must return and must rejoin, but it's not safe. How does Parson figure into all this? Brings it, speak to him. You speak as if the communion, as if the communion is alive. All right. There's no spirits here anymore. You can rejoin the communion if that's what you want. I mean, there are still spirits here. I didn't actually do anything with the spirits so all right uh send to stash in terms of in-game drugs though cram is pretty good what have we got in this room oh this is where the lightning bolts are this is where his secret hideout is do we want to clear out the other Apartments first, so we don't get cornered. Uh, I don't think so. Let's just go. Oh, wow. What do you got going on here, man? Clearly a lot. Real thin elf. Elric's behest. It's Berlin 2054. Trust is so 2053. Uh, he'll kill you. A kid in a Halloween costume. We need to get downstairs into the basement. Uh, when we took over from the Arbiters, I removed the power coupling from the elevator controls. I had to keep Ulrich out of his primary armory. In exchange, Ulrich removed the elevator control chip. A petty move. If you agree to kill him, I'll give you the part. I mean, I kind of 
want to... A magical item of great and inscrutable power. Um... I think I'd still rather kill you, but don't worry, I'll kill him too. <laughs> That's my kind of move. Zero charisma skin wrap move. I love how they all get to move first. All right, skin wrap, you're going to head this way and take out this guy from the side with this lovely double shot Enfield. Well, it didn't quite take him out, but it's a good start. Blitz, let's turn on your relatively useless drone. Get you... Uh, there's like no cover here. I guess we'll get you behind this little pedestal. Oh, you're the drone. I thought I had Blitz. Let's take a pot shot at the healer and miss. And then with Blitz, we'll do an aimed shot at that same guy. Well, 11 damage. Oh, there we go. Another 12. Iger. I almost feel like you're going to be better off with a shotgun in here. You are. Let's move you all the way up here. See if we can have you take out this guy from the back. That definitely did it. And a nice aimed shot at the healer. Nine more damage. And then the good pooch. It's going to do a fireball. Um, in 75% chance to hit all of them and Iger, it looks like. Maybe not Iger. Hopefully not Iger. Let's see how it goes. Perfect. And we got a... Oh, there's a conjurer. Well, let's just take her out if we can. Nice. That was a pretty good round. What is that? Oh my goodness. We need to get rid of these conjurers. I should have focused on them instead. Like that one I don't care about nearly as much. This acid one, that sucks. That also really sucks. Wow. 30 Dante's gonna get toasted Blitz is gonna get toasted uh, heal Dante heal yourself man that sucked let's get rid of this guy wow double miss can we aim and hit him that was not very impressive Double shot. 36 damage. Okay. And uh, how about a kneecap? Okay. Man, poor dog. Let's go attack hard, I guess. That was only six damage. Do you have an aimed shot? Taser? Take him out. Come on, dude. I don't want my dog to die. Oh, my dog's totally gonna die. Yeah, he's done. Oof. Alright, these guys kinda suck. Blitz is down. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, can we just take him out at least? How about Iger? Iger, can you take this guy out, please? Come on. Thank you. I really got to heal the pooch. Uh, I want skin wrap to use an item on the doggo and ugh 26% chance to hit 
Um, I guess just reload. That sucks. Man, this drone is getting wrecked. Oh, your thing turned against you. All right, Dante is partially healed. Let's take this guy out ASAP before we lose Blitz. Iger, you're killing me here, man. Let's use Dante. Let's do a fire breath. And a bite. And a bite. Come on, why can nobody hit this guy? 100%, 50%. Let's get Blitz back up. Well, at least the dog didn't get hit. Oh, okay. I mean, thank you. Dante, can you uh, take out this Inferno thing? Dante versus the Inferno. It's kind of cute. Just run over here. Okay, skin wrap. Out of ammo. Um, let's run all the way over here. Aimed shot. Miss. Perfect. Blitz. Uh, awesome. Go hide. Iger. No, cancel that. Uh, double shot. We can't even hit this guy. Thank you for missing the dog. I appreciate that. Would love to get rid of this stupid spirit. Reload. There's 11 damage. Another 6. Out of ammo. Oh, no, wait, we get well, one more shot. Great. We switch to the sniper rifle. 55. Come on, you're killing me. 10. Dante, it's up to you, man. Come on, Dante. Come on, Dante. <sighs> Thank goodness. That was rough. That was not a dog pun. That was incidental dog pun. Let's grab this. And whatever else. Where's the... Um, the key. Okay. Please don't be more guys. We got power coupling. Thank you. Send to stash. Send to stash. What do you got here? Ooh, bunk beds. Ooh, medical supplies that we desperately need. Money which feels increasingly worthless, and some cram. Oh, what do we got here? Wow. And a hundred bucks. Okay, how about we uh, clear the spirits out of the third floor apartments? I'm really nervous about that now because we just got pretty badly wrecked from that battle. Uh, Dante definitely needs that. Okay. I wonder if I should use one on Blitz, too. Well, before I go into the basement, I am definitely going to stop at Carl's and buy some medical supplies. All right, we got a spirit here. Are you guys all ready? I'm a little nervous. All right, 
right, let's run in here. Uh, switch to the Enfield double shot. And totally miss. Amazing. Blitz, what if we just have you um, run over here? Oh, you can't even take a shot from there. So just turn on your drone and stay out of trouble. Uh, let's get the drone and move the drone over. Where's one movement? Right there. Hit it. Great. Iger's got no shot from there because she's behind the wall. Uh, actually, let's do a double shot. 18 damage. Okay. Well, we're starting to actually hit the stupid thing. No blitz. Um, let's move Dante to here. Come on. Right there. Nope. There. Fine. Go there. All right. We got a 50% chance. Uh, how about a fireball? There we go. Uh, blitz, you just... I don't know. You can't even hack, tag that thing. So whatever, just hang out. Ugh, gross. No. Oh no, there's another one. I should have saved that fireball. Oh no. What is going on here? Why are there so many? Um, I forgot I had that. <laughs> okay, uh, that's on fire. Let's see if we could start with this, I guess. Aim shot. 24, not bad. Blitz, do you? You don't have any kind of shot. Drone. Hey! 55. Miss. Iger. Uh, 67? That's not superb. But, uh... I really should take this one out before anything bad happens. Bite it. Bite it again. Good job. Good boy. And a fireball, which probably is going to miss. Yep. Poor Dante's left out in the open. We got acid damage to the drone, which is, I mean, it's fairly useless anyway, so whatever. I am so disappointed in this drone. Dante's your fireball back? Nope. Oh, we got this, though. Can you hit it? Nope. Uh, reload. Hey, 36 damage. Nice. Skin wrap. Uh, hey, we got one. Line of sight blocked. Well, just, um, you know what? Actually, let's cancel that. Let's use this hydraulic jack. Move over here. And set up an overwatch. That's a smart play. And Dante, uh, you go hide. Mm, not great. Miss. Uh, Iger. 18 damage. Oh, I guess take one more aimed shot. See if you could do some more. Nope, not enough ammo. Never mind. Pooch. Uh, see what you can do. Not bad, but go hide again. We're going to go around the corner. We're going to take a shot. And then we're going... You know what? I got quite a bit of health. Let's just take another shot. 
Eight damage. Okay. Blitz, let's get you right here. And let's do an aimed shot. And you can't see it, so I guess just overwatch. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Ah, man, oh man. Oh, why are we still in combat? All right, let's reload. I don't know why we're still in combat. That makes me nervous. Dante, you're probably the fastest among us. What's back here? A med kit. Okay. Let's do an overwatch right here, just in case. There's got to be something back here. What's back here? Oh, there's one more, and it's one of these horrible acid-spitting ones. Ugh, gross. Alright, let's move Blitz over here. This drone is in a bad way. Let's do a partial heal. Oof. Iger, if you could make it a point to not die, that would be tremendous. How about a double shot? Was <sighs> like a hole? Aimed shot. And a miss. Fantastic. Let's get the drone over here. Maybe the drone could be a target. Seven damage. Blitz in the line of fire. Aimed shot. Eleven damage. Okay. Dante is pretty wounded. Let's move him here and do a flame breath, which is going to miss. Perfect. Oh, good. At least that missed as well. Uh, fireball. Die, idiot. Bite. Nope. Skin wrap. I didn't just hit the dog, did I? I just killed the dog again. And I gotta heal the dog. Heal. Jeez. Oh, this was worth it. it took a lot of damage in these fights. Alright, let's go back to the ground floor, go to the shop, buy some stuff from Carl. Uh, ground floor. Carl, man, you gotta hook me up. I am in a bad way. Carl? Um, I need that. I need probably that and that. Confirm the purchase of all those things. Uh, let's take this one out and put this one in. And let's give Blitz this one. Nope. Come on, Blitz. Okay. Iger's got two. Dante's got one, but I don't think he can use it because he's a dog. All right, Blitz, you get an, nope, come on, you get another one. Can we sell you some stuff, please? I mean, these would be really good for uh, Dietrich, but whatever. We'll sell all that. You won't sell that and that too. Why not? Okay. Well, this.
probably actually not a bad place to stop this episode and then continue it next time. But I kind of want to go outside and see what's up with uh, Ulrich. So let's actually save it just in case things go horrible. We can't. Fantastic. All right, let's just go talk to Ulrich. Can we save it now? Hey, we can. Okay. New save. Save. Should we talk to him? Yeah, let's talk to him quick. Um... I've got some trinkets to sell. Payment in full. Here's his amulet. Nice work. Man of my word. Ah, uh, here's the control chip for the elevator. You slot this into the elevator terminal and you'll be good to go. Oh, and you'll also need to plug in the power coupling that guy, that Udi. I don't know what Udi is. You did grab that, right? Hang on, you nev... Whatever, it's not my problem. You got the chip. I've held up my end. Listen up, boys. Our friend here just taught our wizard boy a permanent lesson about missing with the arbiters. So, arbiters, uh, gear up. We're going to take back our building. I kind of want to attack him, though. Uh, Trimetheus sends his regards. Because gangs are bad. You hear that, folks? Gangs are bad. Totally useless uh, gesture that I am doing here, but I'm going to do it anyway. He down. This guy's got an axe. <laughs> All right. Let's actually run Iger back. Maybe they... Here? Dante. He got a 95%, 90% chance of hitting the two of them. 90% chance of hitting the two of them. Let's go for them. Not bad. Let's do a flame breath on this guy. Nice. Ooh, axe to the back. I mean, they wanted to spend all of their AP running. I am not going to fight them on that. Except for this guy who, you know, hit me in the back with an axe. Oops. I was trying to attack, not take one step to the side. Uh, sure. Reload. Do it again. All right, Iger, sniper rifle, hit, hit again, hit again. Very well done. Dante, hit, nice. Dante, bite. He's like gazelle galloping here. Ooh, nice, minus one AP. These guys are pretty weak, actually. Eighteen damage. Dante, you think you can finish her off? Dante's a madman. Yoink. Ganger's key. What do I do with a ganger's key? Well, I'll probably open these boxes. Elevator control chip. Ganger mask. Uh, yeah, let's swap our armor because I want to look like a bunny man. Oh, great. Swap with the drug. Perfect. Okay, well, we accomplished 
eliminating this neighborhood from some gangs. We just have a cult to deal with, but I think we can pretty much ignore them. So it'll be elevator time next episode. For now, we're going to save it, which it won't let us do. All right, all right, all right. Repair the elevator. Yep, yep, yep. Online. Now can I save it? I just want to save the game, man. How is everybody's health? Let's take a look here. Activate. Ah, you're all fine. Okay. Maybe now if we continue to a new location, it will allow us to save. The elevator rumbles and clanks its way downward into the guts of the old Seder Krupp development lab. 18 years ago, this place and the project that was being developed here disappeared from the record books. Thanks to Alice, you are one of the few people alive today who understands why. She was clear about one thing. You're here because Apex wants you to be. If the AI hadn't wanted her to trace it here, she would have wound up dead as Monica. The elevator grinds to a halt. The doors slide open and your nostrils are assaulted by 18 years worth of stale air. Apex and the kill switch that will deactivate it key point there await oh, continue auto saved and that's going to do it for this episode so next time we will try to take out the apex uh, ai let's see how that goes makes me very nervous we'll see how it goes i'm i am definitely scared um Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, you know what to do. It's YouTube. You click the, click the little thummy icon and you say, hey, I like this thing. And then you leave a comment saying, hey, I like this thing. And then you subscribe to the channel and say, hey, I like this thing. And I subscribe to your channel. Guys, thanks for watching. Please be kind to yourselves and each other. I always say it because I always mean it. And we'll see you real soon. Next episode tomorrow. We'll see you, we'll see you soon. We'll see you then. We'll see you soon. Depends on what you're watching, I guess. Anyway, thank you all so much.